the confrontation you're having with unions, that's the way to get results? Uh, it's not a question of confrontation. It is. No, it, it, it it's not. It looks like it. No, it's not. Because take the uh, uh, GP, the general practitioner, Gaetan Barrett, after years of negotiation, end up with the Bill 20, where in this bill he said, if you don't take in charge so many patients, we will cut your salary by 30%. We are at this level right now. And I don't think it's a good idea to cut 30% of salaries of all GPs, all right? So we have to continue the negotiation. But the GP, right now, they don't want to see any penalties, but they don't give results. So my responsibility as the Premier, as the Premier of Quebec is to give services to the population. And right now, we have 800,000 uh, Quebecers waiting for a family doctor. So uh, we need to continue the negotiation, and uh, we have not to exclude the tabling of a bill soon. Of those negotiations, how is it, have they started? And uh, there, are they at the table? And what is the mood there? Do you think you can make progress? Because there are a lot of people waiting for a family doctor. I really hope so. I really hope that uh, they will take that seriously. I think that Quebecers uh, uh, need to get a, a family doctor. And um, I, I think it's their responsibility to at least propose other solutions if they disagree with our solutions or the solution of Gaetan Barrett. Negotiations with the, with the GPs, but you're also negotiating with the unions. And today we heard uh, Minister Zubé talk about the nurses union, and you're also negotiating with uh, educators in daycares. And they, they all seem to be pushing back against your government, even though you have promised a lot of incentives to a lot of people. So what, what is happening with your okay. negotiations? For, why, are, first, why are we seeing so much pushback? First, we have to understand that we already have an agreement with the nurses, with nurses' unions. We have a new collective agreement that has been approved by uh, nurses. Right now, they disagree on the new premium that we offer them, $15,000. And the main reason for that is because they would like that we offer this premium, this full-time uh, premium, to 300 employees that are working with the unions. So we think that the purpose of this 15,000 is to convince nurses to work full-time instead of part-time. It's not about paying people to uh, do union work. Yeah. I think with the daycare worker, we're very close to an agreement. We offer up to 20% of salary increase. It's about what they were asking for, so I think we're very close. The problem we have right now is that unions would like to renegotiate other employees, like the one uh, being in the kitchen or doing the uh, nettoyage. How do you say that? Cleaning. Cleaning. So we have to be fair with people, uh, workers, doing the same job in schools, for example. So we cannot give more to these employees. And it, the, the, the objective at the beginning was to uh, uh, increase the salary of educative workers.